Hi guys, NorCal Tenkar here, and today it's Angler and Lightning Rod. A few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago at this point, I asked for some community questions to make a community Q&A video, kind of like you guys interviewing us before the trail. Well, I waited for some more extra ones to fall in, and without further ado, here we go. Sup Nick, my question for you is, do you and Maddie have any personal goals aside from the ultimate completion of the PCT, whether it be along the way or maybe off the trail? Thanks, dude. Great question, Aaron. My biggest goal along the way is, as you already know, to get myself a golden trout. Um, obviously, we want to make it to Canada, but um, outside the trail, I, I want to get that golden trout real bad. And you? I think just having a good time. Any, any peaks that you're after? Uh, Mount Whitney. <laughs> Mount Whitney? Yeah, we are both. We're going to try for Mount Whitney. Yeah, we're so. going for Mount Whitney. So, and then, uh, I mean, if there are opportunities for other peaks, I'll probably, I'll probably take them. But it's I don't have like a set goal for like how many I want to do, or I just want to have a good time. And hopefully make it to Canada. Just, yeah, hopefully make it to Canada, and if not, at least have fun. So. All right on. Thanks for the question, Aaron. What I would really like to see is what you have for your cooking kit, your cooking setup. What sort of stove, how you manage your, your cooking utensils, spices, things like that. Um, our cooking kit, Maddie carries most of that, so I'll actually let her take this one. Okay, uh, so for our cooking kit, uh, we don't cold soak, we use the stove, so we use MSR Pocket Rocket 2 Deluxe. Uh, we were using the Pocket Rocket 2, but I think the windscreen on the Deluxe is a little bit better, so I actually prefer that one. Uh, then we use a Topes Titanium Pot, it's 1100 milliliters. Um, could probably get away with half that for one person, but since it's for two, uh, that's what we do. And then we each carry a Climate, is it Climate? Or no, Sea to Summit. Yeah, a little collapsible. A Sea to Summit right? collapsible mug, so we each carry one of those. <clears throat> and then Nick carries a, a Sea to Summit collapsible bowl. But I mostly use that for cereal, which I haven't been into as much lately, so we'll see. I might end up catching the bowl. We'll see. Uh, and then we each have a, a Tokes, or no, not Tokes, that's also Sea to Summit. Sea to Summit long handle spork. Uh, mine's Core Element. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's got it, some it like off-brand. You, you just want that long handle, so you yeah. get in those um, yeah, mountain Yeah, still get your knuckles all pasta prima berry. And then, let's fix this to anything else. Uh, I'll just throw out the water filter because I don't know it's part of the cook system, I suppose. And our, our stove runs on isobutane. Oh yeah, so we just use serious. isobutane like a... and then Nick uses a Catadyne B free. And I usually use that, but this time I'm gonna use a Sawyer just so we each have one in case one fails. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And I guess that's it, yeah. Great question, <laughs> Dennis. Hey man, it's TTT Fly Fish and uh, I like the new video idea. Just curious how the rods work. Peace out. Well, most of the rods work. They collapse down to about 20 inches. I have one with me that's about 14 inches when collapsed, and they extend out to a telescopic fly rod, and you tie your line onto the tip. And it's as simple as that. Just cast your fly into the water and catch yourself a fish. Check out my page at NorCal Tenkara or look up Tenkara Rod Co. or any other Tenkara information that you can find. Check it out. Okay, so this is a pretty monumental undertaking. Uh, what are your biggest fears and greatest hopes for the trail? Uh, my biggest fears are sketchy water crossings and no fall zones, like ultra exposed knife's edge kind of ridge lines. I mean, just, it's not my favorite. I, I, I've done a few and you get by, you get through them and it's not my favorite, but it does usually lead to some pretty great places. And my biggest hopes are just the ultimate completion of the trail and hopefully catching a few awesome, beautiful fish along the way in some really scenic places. How about you? Uh, my biggest fear is having to get off trail, I think, for, I don't know, I think the only reason I would quit is for like a medical emergency, so that's probably my biggest fear. And what's the biggest hope? Greatest hopes. Greatest hope. Uh, that we finish, but... <laughs> It's not necessary for me to have a good time, but yeah, that, that would be the ultimate goal, I think. We just hope to finish. Yep. All right, thanks, Brandon. 
Hey Nick, just wondering if you have a trail name yet. Um, I did get a trail name on the Tahoe Rim Trail. I had Sorchi started calling me Angler. He bestowed that title on me at the 100 mile mark. And just every time we ran into him, it seemed like every single time I was fishing. And so he just started calling me Angler. This one's for Maddie. How are you gonna handle Nick fishing on the PCT? Well, I'll just leave and let him catch up later if I get bored. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, on board. I'll be at camp. Bye. Okay. I'll, I walk a little faster than her anyway. So well, I have up. the stove, so if he wants to eat, he'll come find me. I have the tent, so unless he wants to <laughs> cowboy camp, she'll wait for me. What is your most common meal item? And what items will be the first ones for you to leave in the box? Um, we did a pretty good job with uh, diversifying our food. I think... Probably risotto is going to be my, my most eaten item, but I think along the whole trail, I'm probably only going to have it eight times. So it's not like I'll be eating it that much. And the first thing to leave in a hiker box, um, oh gosh. What, what's the first thing you're going to leave in a hiker box? Nothing. I don't nothing. have anything to leave. <laughs> I know. Maybe a little, maybe maybe too much food. If I have like an extra bar or an extra ramen that I don't eat, I might I, mean, I might ditch that. I don't even think I'm gonna somebody. have too much food because I've got like I eat exactly that amount. What about did uh, what what was the other? Did you have any uh, what meal are you eating the most? Oh, uh, what's that? The chocolate pretzel nugos. I am gonna have one oh. of those like every day. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess because we're not I've, counting the dinner. I've been yeah. I was I, that's the route you took. But I've been eating one of those every day uh, for like the past two years straight. So I figure, what's another six months? Uh, I definitely have <laughs> I a, a little fruit snack in every single day's supply. So I'll have all of that every single time. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Great question. Like a fourth grader's lunch. <laughs> what's going on, Nick? One more question for you. Um, how do you plan to get on the water as much as possible while dealing with the hardships of the trail? Uh, do you plan on just splitting up your fishing on zero days or in passing, just, you know, crossing a creek or both? Uh, what's your game plan? And I think the latter kind of hits the nail on the head. Just mostly when we cross a creek and we stop at a water supply for lunch, um, when we're not dry camping or we're camping in a, a creek or a lake, that's when, that's when I'll be doing most of my fishing. Hopefully we'll be able to have some really, really nice campsites that are next to some accessible water and that's I'll get a couple hours by sunset maybe an hour in sunset here and there but yeah. and we're trying to plan our mileage <clears throat> based off that also so like for example like the Yosemite backcountry we know there's good fishing opportunities so we're going to spend more time there I'm sure desolation also and yeah and the like so we're trying to spend a little extra time in the Sierra so. yeah just maybe blast through the parts that aren't as fishy and spend more time at the places that are yeah, we're definitely not going to make it like, uh, <clears throat> say, say if I just happen to not, if I'm not catching a golden trout, we're not going to, we're not going to stay an extra four days in the Sierra hoping for a golden trout. Like, if, if we get one, awesome. If we don't, you know, it's just another reason to come back. So, thanks, Aaron. Hey, Nick. So, we're wondering how many miles you expect to travel each day? Um, in the beginning, I'd say about 12 or so, moving towards an average of 15. And once we hit NorCal kind of area, we're hoping to average about 20 miles a day. Would you say that's about, about right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think after after Yosemite, we should start hitting like mid-20s. Okay. About. So yeah, start slow and we'll just ramp it up from there. We'll have to touch back at the end to see, uh, see what our biggest mileage day was. Hoping for a 30. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> thanks, Jesse, and thanks everybody else for all the questions. Uh, this was fun. Hope to see you on the trail soon. For those of you that are out there, and see all, see you all around. Get out and fish. Hey, Nick. Hey, Mighty. What's up, guys? Good luck on the PCT. And remember, after you're done, clean your tent. Clean your stinky tent. Have a good one, guys.